<laughs> Hi, my name is Vera Castro. I'm 30 years old and I'm from Portugal. In 2015, I did, with Ulvania, I did my level one at Trails Guide and Marine Guide. I am currently at Timiri Rhino and Wildlife Conservation in Zimbabwe. Um, it all started in 2015. I did my guiding course and then I started guiding in 2016 at Amakala Game Reserve for Bush Lodge. I stayed there for a year and then I came to Zimbabwe. In the 1980s, Zimbabwe went through a very bad poaching wave and that's when national parks create intensive protective zones and Imiri got elected as one and because of that we got granted the custody of seven baby orphans from the Zambezi Valley and that's how the heart of Imiri started with those seven babies. Sam and I arrived here in 2018. We are the volunteer coordinators and the nature enthusiast course instructor. It was very funny because when we arrived here Riley Travers um, is our boss and we were talking with him and suddenly we understood that Skulk and Candace were um, Riley's instructors many years ago. So when we invited Skulk and Candace to come here and oversee the Nature Enthusiast course, we understood that there was already a relationship between them, which was very, very cool. I was obsessed with Africa, I still am, since I was a little kid. And to go to Ulubani to study, to be a field guide, was like a dream come true. But one of the things that stood out for me, it was that first day when you arrived there, and you feel like it's family. You feel like you never left your home. It's like you're home away from home. And that was very, very, very important for me, because I was completely alone in a completely different country and I just felt home. I loved every second of it. And it's because of Ulubani that I'm still in Africa six years after doing what I love. The ethics of Ulubani for me are the best out there. Um, they teach you very well how to respect an animal. They teach you how to approach an animal without disturbing them. For me, it's very important. And how to be yeah, respectful towards the environment. Because in the end, we are the guides, we are the voices of conservation. So we need to respect the environment for the environment to respect us. My biggest advice for people like me with this huge, huge passion for African wildlife is don't hesitate, just come into the course. It is, it will change your life. You will absolutely love every single minute of it. And if you're just like me, you end up living in Africa and realizing that Africa is home.